All right, guys, so here we are inside of Patriot Way. Uh, right when you walk in off the main entry is what appears to be the living space. Uh, carpeted in here, as you can see, nice vaulted ceilings. A um, little bit of darker paint, but not anything that couldn't be redone. Um, as you walk in to your immediate right, you're going to see what essentially appears to be a formal dining area. Um, that's separate, separate, uh, separated from the main living area as well as the kitchen. But uh, you walk through this area to get to the kitchen. And as you can see here, we've got uh, what appear to be granite slab or granite tile countertop. Uh, it's hard to see the grout line here, but there is a grout line. We've got uh, the white appliances and a Kind of an eat-in kitchen design here with the, the chandelier and the space to eat. There's a little uh, dry bar area here for storage and things of that nature, as well as a small pantry. Um, as we continue off to, uh, the, the, this is your exit from the uh, garage area but uh, adjacent to the kitchen, your washer and dryer are in here. We'll go out in the garage in just a moment. Um, but wanted to take you back to the bedrooms first. Got a, uh, a little coat closet here. But the, uh, oh, and another one. So, <laughs> so uh, linen's closet, but lots of storage closets here. So you can see here's your first bedroom. Again, a slightly vaulted ceiling. Uh, this one does have a little walk-in closet here. So you've got the walk-in with the, the built-ins. Um, darker paint scheme, but again, nothing that couldn't be just uh, painted over. And then between the two guest rooms is the shower. As you can see, uh, this was actually a, a tub and shower combo, but this is the guest bath. Um, then we have the other guest bedroom. This one does not have a walk-in closet, but it does have the vaulted ceiling on the one end. And then we'll head over to the primary suite here. See the backyard here right off the living room area. And then right off, so really, here's your living room space, there's your entry. And then just back of that is the primary bedroom. Very good size bedroom. You've got the, uh, the vaulted ceiling there, as well as good size walk-in closet with lots of built-ins. Um, and then the primary bathroom, dual sinks, uh, and our walk-in shower, like we're always looking for. It's got a bathtub as well, if uh, you were ever so inclined. But there's your walk-in shower. Now, let's take a look at the garage in the backyard. So here's our garage, uh, no epoxy, but a two car garage nonetheless. We've also got, kind of uh, important to note here, not only do you have the water softener already installed, but you've also got a tankless hot water heater. So uh, that's gonna be much more energy efficient, uh, uses gas, heats the water instantly, doesn't store it. Um, far more expensive than a normal hot water heater, but you probably already know that, Dave. Nonetheless, a uh, nice little perk for Patriot Way. Uh, let's go check out the backyard. All right, so not only is the house bigger, uh, the other two are a shade over 1,400. This one's almost 1,700 for the home itself, but this lot, is a nice uh, big lot here part of that you can see we've got pavers and an extended patio pergola patio uh, plenty of covered space out here uh, again with the low maintenance desert landscaping with the gravel and the uh, we got a mesquite palo verde tree it's like a little rock built-in area here not sure what that's all about, water feature or what, but uh, this lot is really good size lot. You've got this, uh, you got this fence area here, see-through fence area, but this leads to another wash 
uh, slash kind of buffer zone. But being in the mountains here, you're going to see these washes uh, are built and designed as flood control, uh, built by nature, but built around and not filled in purposefully so that we don't have any flash flood issues. Um, can kind of see the elevated neighbor's uh, backyard there. But again, just a really good sized yard. Wraps all the way around. A little bit of a shorter fence here. You can kind of see in their backyard too a little bit, but not too intrusive. But nice wide area here on the side. Uh, that's your side gate entry, as well as just some storage on the side here. Here's our HVAC system. Looks to be in relatively good shape. Newer, I'll say. Um, backyard, uh, back of the house, probably painted recently. Um, and again, good sized lot here, uh, probably 8,000 square feet plus, whereas our other lots were about 4,000. So probably double the lot size here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go redo the front. I think it cut off and uh, we'll complete Patriot Way. So just to com complete our uh, reverse theme here. <laughs> so this is off the main door, but you can see there's this little side area and I'm not sure we'd probably have to talk to the HOA, but maybe you could put a table and chairs out here if you wanted but again and it just really emphasizes the size of the lot here um, the front door access is again just to the left of the driveway so here's our pathway out here's the front of the property we'll uh, kind of walk to the side here you can see there's the side gate here's the front of the property 40275 Patriot Way on a nice quiet street here in Anthem. But I will uh, mention it is not in the gated community uh, of the other properties we've been looking at. So this one is not gated. Just an FYI, not sure if that's going to be a uh, mitigating factor, but definitely an item worth note. Uh, but this is it. This will conclude 40275 Patriot Way. All right, we'll talk to you soon.